Hello and welcome back to the channel everyone and to another travel adventure. This one's straight off the bucket list. We're headed to one of the most beautiful cities in the UK for a Jane Austen themed visit to the city of Bath. I have wanted to come here since the first time I read Persuasion and I am beyond excited to walk in the footsteps of Anne Elliot and Captain Wentworth, Catherine Morland and of course Jane Austen herself. We also got to explore some of the surrounding countryside on a very special day trip which we'll share in an upcoming video so don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell to make sure you don't miss that one. So come along with us to see all the best sights that Bath has to offer. Today we're spending the full day in the city. We're going to kick off things with a... If you've been following the vlogs for a while, you should not be shocked by this. But we are going on the open top bus this morning. Um, it's another gloriously sunshiny day. Horrifyingly hot day it's going to be today. But we're going to kick things off with the open top bus tour. We're going to see all the sights around the city. And then we are going to get off and do a Jane Austen walking tour self-guided all the sites from all my favourite books. So let's get started. So we're on the bus, we're getting ready to go. See how oh, Ross is drinking. Hydrating. Ross is hydrating for the hot day ahead. And all of So I'm hoping you can hear me, but a little bit just before we get started. So the reason we wanted to come to Bath, the reason I wanted to come to Bath, quick correction there, the reason I wanted to come to Bath, persuasion is by far my favourite Jane Austen novel. As many of you will know, much of the story of Bath is, or the story of Persuasion is set in Bath. A lot of the, the kind of most important scenes take place here. You also have Northanger Abbey, which is probably my least favourite Jane Austen novel set here too. And Jane Austen herself did live for a period of her life here in Bath. So of all the places around the UK that have some kind of connection to Jane Austen, this is the place that I've most wanted to come ever since the first time I encountered anything Austen related, which was the 1995 Pride and Prejudice on the BBC, um, which led me to the books, which has led me to my lifelong love of all things Austen. So we are going to ride around in the glorious sunshine on this open top bus see lots of the sites and then we will take you on a walk into the city with us. So it is around about 11 o'clock. We've just had some refreshments in Sally Lunds. 
we have refreshments while we're here in Bath. We're not having lunch, dinner, anything like that sort of thing. We're taking refreshments. <laughs> so we've just stopped in at Sally Lynn's, which is the oldest house in Bath, according to the plaque on the wall. So it says the oldest house in Bath from 1482. And Sally Lynn herself lived here in 1680. And it's famous for the Bath bun. So we each sampled a Bath bun with cinnamon butter and the Jane Austen blend of coffee. What did you think? I enjoyed it. It was not like your traditional uh, cinnamon bun. It's think of a roll or a bun cut in half and then with the cinnamon spread to the top of it. It was yeah. nice. It went well with the coffee. If you drink the coffee first, it tastes better. Not better, different with the after you've eaten the bun or taken a bite of the bun. And then just, I liked it that way. <laughs> <laughs> so, yep, that was uh, that was a nice experience being in there, getting to eat in the oldest house in Bath. Next up, we're going to stick in our audio guide, and we are going to start a Jane Austen themed walking tour around the city. Let's go take it. I don't think it's too dramatic to say that was like the best tours of my entire life. That's not dramatic at all. But now we are going along Gravel Walk. Gravel Walk is the location for one of the most pivotal scenes in Persuasion. And they also filmed the most recent adaptation around here. The most recent adaptation being the one with Dakota Johnson, which I can't recommend in any good conscience um, I love Dakota Johnson I think she's a fabulous actress can't recommend that adaptation of my most beloved book it is atrocious so yeah please please stick with the 2007 or the, the 1990s version both of which are superior but they did film part of that atrocious Netflix movie right here on Gravel Walk atrocious. <laughs> it is atrocious though Right, it's offensively bad. Thank you. 
Okay, well, let's talk about the Jane Austen Centre. I said earlier that it was like the best two hours of my life and I was not joking. As a Jane Austen fan, this was the pinnacle of, of bath experiences for me today. I enjoyed every single second of being inside the Jane Austen Centre and later the Regency Tea Room, which is up on the third floor of the centre. Oh my goodness. When I say living my best Jane Austen life, I was living my best Jane Austen life. When you walk into the centre, you're greeted at the doorway by someone in full Regency dress and everyone represents a character, everyone has a badge identifying them as a particular character from Austen literature. Today alone we ran into Mr Knightley, to Anne Elliot, to Elizabeth Elliot. It's an interactive experience so we start off with a presentation which is done in a very theatrical style that takes us through the full life of Jane Austen and all of her family. And then it's off into the exhibit and in the exhibit it is an absolute treasure trove for even the most casual of Jane Austen fans. Now, admittedly, I'm not a casual Jane Austen fan. Probably for a little bit of context, it might be useful to tell you the level of fan that I am. I'm the type of Jane Austen fan who has read the novels, each one of them, many, many times. I have watched each and every one of the adaptations of her work many, many times. And when I say I've watched those two to three times a year, I take a weekend out and re-watch every one of them. I don't just watch one Pride and Prejudice. I finish a Pride and Prejudice and then start the next version of Pride and Prejudice. So that's just a little bit of context so that you understand the lens that I'm looking at this experience through. Some of the absolute highlights for me were seeing scripts from both versions of, of Persuasion, seeing some of the behind the scenes photographs from Sense and Sensibility, which had been donated to the centre by Emma Thompson herself. And two different guides came over to talk to us to tell us the story behind those photographs and how they ended up there. It was just the most amazing experience. And poor Ross has just been following me around Bath today along what has essentially been a Jane Austen pilgrimage for me. So the award for the most patient husband in the world probably has to go to Ross, who has been regaled with every story I know and every location I knew of and exactly what had been filmed there and when and, and everything that I knew about it. So hats off to Ross. He has, he has very much won the Best Husband Award today.
we are back on the open top bus. This time we're going to do the Skyline tour, so should get some different sights around the city. But we'll just say a couple of words about the Roman baths. What did you think? I thought it was phenomenal. I was expecting just the baths bit at the top, bit in the bottom, mm -hmm. but it was a sprawling complex and it was well worth a visit. You learn so much actually about the Romans and the gods and goddesses. Yeah. And you've got a good gift shop. I have been in the gift shop, that should shock nobody. Um, but yeah, it, I'm not sure what I expected. And I knew certainly we would see the, the baths themselves. I had no idea of the scale of the complex inside and the scale of the presentation as well. It's a multimedia presentation. It is just absolutely immersive. Um, the way that they have recreated the, the world that would have been here back when it was now was is it am I saying this correctly? Aquasulis it was yes. um, in the Roman days is what Bath would have been called then. And not just the, the way it's all presented, but just the experience of being next to the, the baths themselves. I did have another sampling of the water, so this is my second sampling of the day. I sampled the water, I took the waters. I took the waters <laughs> in the pump room as is expected. I have taken the waters now in the Roman baths, also the ones that are suitable for drinking, not the ones with the biofilm, the ECO on, on camera. And I, I feel I feel healed, I feel I feel well, I feel better. So I am I'm fully here for the effects of the, the baths. I understand why people came here to take the waters. Ross did not take the waters. I, just because I didn't really fancy drinking warm water. I just think it's, it's the quintessential bath experience. So yes, I have sampled the waters. I've been in bath, I've taken the air, I've taken the waters. So yeah, I think I'm having the, the full experience. So we're now on the Skyline tour. We're going to see some sites. Can I just say there is a street food vendor called LJ Hugs. It's just behind the camera. You can't see it right now. But the smell is amazing. I'm so hoping this tour leaves is enough time for me to sample something from this food stall because it smells amazing. <laughs> but yeah, 10 out of 10 for the Roman baths. Again, another highly recommended experience. And I don't think we spoke to you after the pump room either. How was your pump room experience? Very regional. <laughs> regional. <laughs> Take two. How was your pump room experience? It was excellent. <laughs> <And original. laughs> Some more blooper real content we're creating here. Yeah. But uh, I thought the pump room was quite delightful. Quite delightful. Um, I had a fabulous time. It was everything I expected it to be and more. We had some breakfast tea and we had a slice of chocolate cake for breakfast we're on holiday so I can have chocolate cake for breakfast if I want to and there was live piano music playing the setting is just phenomenal I, I could genuinely feel the ghosts of the Regency era around me I was I was just loving life so again another 10 out of 10 experience highly recommend Bath overall <laughs> what a great time I am roasting my life here in the sun though, so I'm hoping the bus gets some personal aircon going here. I'm hoping the bus is going to move on soon before I end up like the Wicked Witch of the West. Not for the first time.